Hi everyone, welcome to Learning with Lee, where we discuss nature and wildlife on Kiowa Island. I'm your host, Lee Bundrick, Land Preservation Coordinator for the Kiowa Conservancy. Today, we are interviewing digital content intern, Emily Horn, to talk about herself and her role with the Conservancy. Hi Emily, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, and I'm glad to be here. I have learned so much throughout my internship at the Kiowa Conservancy, and I am excited to share my experience. Could you tell us and uh, some of our listeners about yourself? I am originally from Charlotte, North Carolina, but after middle school, my family decided to move to Seabrook Island. I attend Charleston Collegiate School, a school on Johns Island that has a project-based curriculum. I participate in a variety of different clubs and schools, some of which include Cross Country, Mock Trial, National Honor Society, and the RISE Crew. RISE is incredibly important to me. It's a group of students responsible for educating the school community on global issues. We create lesson plans to promote discussions, but we also invite nonprofits to visit and speak to the student body. And thank you, Lee, for being a speaker this year and sharing with my school about the importance of conservation and how important the Conservancy is to Kiowa. But outside of school, I write articles for the Seabrooker newspaper and am a city coordinator of a youth-led nonprofit called Earth Uprising, who educates um, communities around the world about climate change. Well, I had the chance to speak to your school about local conservation work, and it seems like you do a lot of work over at uh, Charleston Collegiate and out in the community. I understand this was part of your majors program at the uh, Charleston Collegiate when I came out and spoke to your uh, school. Uh, could, could you tell us a little bit about the majors program? The Charleston Collegiate majors program is a program offered to juniors and seniors that allows us students to participate in an internship on or off campus. Um, this is to explore potential career paths and to help us find our passions. I chose to major in nature conservation with a focus on wildlife photography by interning at the Kiel Conservancy. Why did you want to do your majors program internship with the Conservancy? I decided to choose this major after a wildlife photographer came and spoke with the high school last year. I already had an interest in conservation and have had a long time passion for photography in middle school. I would go around taking pictures of literally everything around my house, whether it's my cats, a random soda bottle I found, I would take a picture of everything. The idea of combining my old passion with a current issue, it, it was just exciting to me. Um, from RISE, I actually maintained a list of local nonprofits sorted into different topics. Um, as I was looking through the list to see if any have potential internship opportunities for next year, I immediately reached out to the Conservancy the moment I saw it on the list. Recently, you gave a presentation at Charleston Collegiate as part of the majors program. Uh, what was the subject of this presentation and what were some of the challenges that you came across when putting it together? Every student that completes the Charleston Collegiate majors program is asked to complete a presentation and I focused on two essential questions. What is the importance of nature and wildlife conservation? And how can wildlife and nature photography demonstrate the importance of conservation and caring for environment, other species in the environment in the world? I basically began my presentation walking my audience through what conservation is and what it is not, and explaining what would happen to our world if we do not conserve. The second component of my presentation was sharing what the Conservancy does and the programs they offer um, to the Kiowa community, such as the Legacy Gala and the Music in the Garden events. I then explained my internship and my key experiences, such as performing a mock conservation assessment and analyzing the plants and wildlife at my school's outdoor education center. To conclude my presentation, I shared my portfolio of wildlife and nature photography with corresponding descriptions of the animal species depicted with my audience. My portfolio demonstrated the biodiversity of Charleston. Um, some of the challenges I came across while putting together my presentation was keeping it preset, like my message concise, um, while also meeting the time requirement for the presentation. I spent much time editing and revising certain portions, and I also had to practice it many times in front of my classmates. Uh, so what types of equipment did you use for photographing wildlife? I use a Canon camera my family has had for a few years, and I have two zoom lenses that I use. I use the larger zoom lens the most, though, because I'm actually afraid of a lot of animal species, especially insects. And so I prefer to admire them from afar. 
I can take a decent picture of a ladybug without even getting close to it, which is really nice. Where are some of your favorite places on Kiowa to see wildlife and take photos? My favorite places on Kiowa to see and take photographs are the Naturally Kiowa Native Garden at Night Heron Park, Canvasback Pond, Osprey Point, and the Preserve. At, Na at the Native Garden, I typically see butterflies and birds. At Canvasback Pond, I typically find alligators and egrets. At Osprey Point, I also see alligators, but there are usually a group of ibis in the trees by the pond near the golf course. Um, at the preserve, I usually take marsh scene pictures and an occasional picture of Bubba, who's a gigantic alligator that lives in the pond by the entrance. What wildlife species is your favorite to photograph and, and why? So I have so many favorites, some of which include dolphins, monarch butterflies, sanderlings, Rosette spoonbills, eastern bluebirds, tricolored herons, ju juvenile alligators, and gray egret. Did you come across any unusual or unexpected wildlife during your photography sessions? I've actually had many unusual wildlife experiences. I accidentally stepped on an alligator once. I thought it was um, part of a tree. Um, but more recently, actually just the other day, I was watching an egret with a nest of her chicks in a tree, and it was above one of the ponds on Seabrook, and I saw it, like about a dozen baby alligators swimming in the water. It was so cool. Like I could see them without even standing too close to them, so it was, it was amazing. What did you learn about Kiowa Island from working on the project? While on Kiowa, I learned about the beauty of balancing nature and development. Kiowa has many outlets for people to interact and learn about nature across the island. And when working on creating my portfolio of photography, I was able to explore the many trails and docks that Kiowa has. What are some of the other projects you're working on now? As a result of my internship at the Kiowa Conservancy, I am working on building a native garden on my school's campus to help promote native plant species. This garden will be inspired by the Naturally Kiowa Demonstration Garden at Night Heron Park. And thank you, Lee, for your help on this. Um, I'm hoping this can be my legacy that I'll leave behind at my school when I graduate. But unfortunately, because of COVID-19, I'm not sure when I will be able to officially start building the garden, but I hope sometime soon. I have met with my head of upper school and dean of student life about potential ideas. Over the summer, I hope to prepare to share my ideas with my head of school and to get approval. What are your plans for the, the, the future afterwards? I will miss the Conservancy next year a lot. Um, I'm hoping though to take my passion for conservation to another level. I would like to major in government and policy or environmental policy, possibly by pairing an internship at a government office with an internship at an environmental lobbying group. Um, next year, I will also be applying to a few colleges. Um, I'm interested in pursuing a major in public policy and possibly a minor in sustainability, if not in something similar to these topics. After college, I hope to go to law school and then work in Washington, D.C. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today, Emily. It was great to learn about your work as an intern with the Conservancy and about some of your great plans for the future. Thank you, Lee. I'm happy to be here. Join us again next time for another episode of Learning with Lee.